Welcome to All Grown Up Now, Tales of a Checkered Past. I'm Kenneth D. King, podcasting from my studio near Union Square in New York City. This podcast is an evolution of the tale, All Grown Up Now, A Friendship in Three Acts. This is season two, and it's called Tales of a Checkered Past. It's a collection of short stories from my salad days on up to the present. In each podcast, another self-contained story will be presented. Enjoy. The holidays are a time fraught with all sorts of emotions. Generally, the closer I get to the holidays, the more anxious I get. And I imagine this is true for quite a few of you as well. So, here's a short, little light-hearted tale about an experience I had during the holidays a few years back. I hope it gives you a chuckle as you're making your holiday preparations. It's called The Evening Betsy Johnson Stalked Me. Now, before we get to the story, a little background information might be useful for those of you who don't follow the fashion world. Betsy Johnson is a New York designer. Wikipedia sums her up well, and they say, Betsy Johnson is an American fashion designer best known for her feminine and whimsical designs. She began her career in the late 1960s, but continues today. Many of her designs are considered over-the-top and embellished. She also is known for doing cartwheels, ending in a split at the end of her fashion shows. There you have it. So, to the story. Yes, it's true. I got stalked by Betsy Johnson. She only did it once, but this is a true story. It happened at a famous New York shopping emporium called ABC Carpet and Home. One evening, I was going to meet a friend for a fashion event, but had a little time to spare. So, I ducked into ABC Carpet and Home, which is a stone's throw from my studio. I wanted to look at their holiday decorations, which are always interesting. I mentioned that I was going to a fashion event because I was, as my friend Susan used to say, all dinged up meaning I was wearing a good jacket, the black cashmere turtleneck, good jewelry, and great shoes. But the star of this outfit was a new pair of jeans I had just finished. The jeans were a black and off-white jacquard. The pattern was squares. In each of these squares were abstract silhouettes of dead celebrities. Elvis, Janis Joplin, JFK, Martin Luther King, Marilyn Monroe, Billie Holiday, on and on, but all of them dead. It may sound a little weird, but the fabric was abstract enough that you really had to study it to figure out what the images were. So as I wandered around on the first floor of ABC Carpet and Home, I noticed that I was being followed by Betsy Johnson. I had seen her on the street a few minutes before getting out of a taxi, but as a New Yorker, We are all used to seeing celebrities on the street or in the restaurants at the theater. You know, they live among us. The rule is not to engage, or if you need to engage, you act like you don't know who they are. Now, as an aside, once I had a colleague visit me from Florida. We were having lunch at the restaurant in ABC Carpet and Home. All of a sudden, he looked behind me and started getting excited. I turned to look at what he had seen, and there she was, Brooke Shields, having lunch with one of her friends. I'm going to go ask for her autograph, he exclaimed. No, I replied, it's not done. I don't care, I'm going to do it. When will I ever get to see her again? She's off the clock, I insisted. She's on her own time, not at an event. Leave her alone. If you get up, I'll deck you right here. Happily, the manager was watching this, and she casually came up to our table. Between the two of us, we were able to distract him long enough to give poor Brooke 
time to make her escape. Another aside, there was one other encounter I had with Brooke Shields. I was in a pokey little restaurant on the west side, waiting for a friend. There was a woman sitting on the banquette at the table right next to me. She seemed to be working on something. There was a tablet. She was writing. She was looking up things on her phone. She was busy. Not thinking it could actually be her, as she would be dining at Nobu or Balthazar, I leaned over and casually said, You know, you look exactly like Brooke Shields. She turned, looked at me with those beautiful blue eyes, and I was struck dumb. It was Brooke Shields. And I may say, far more beautiful in person and tall. That's because I am Brooke Shields, she exclaimed. As I sat there, struck dumb and horrified that I had broken the rule of not talking to a famous person, she explained that she was going to be doing a stand-up comedy thing later and hadn't prepared. She was nervous. I finally was able to squeak out, Well, I'll leave you to get back to your work then. And then I sat there and mentally berated myself for violating that rule. When she finished her dinner, Brooke got up and put on her coat. I looked over and said, Break a leg. She smiled and said, Thanks. And off she went into the night. But back to the evening I got stalked. I decided to not notice that Betsy Johnson was skulking around stalking me. Every now and then, as I was casually strolling through the store, I would turn in her direction only to have her duck behind a column or a display case. The only problem with this was she has big hair. It's a triangle of auburn curls, somewhat like the character Roseanne Rosanna Dana had on Saturday Night Live in the 70s. It even has its own zip code. When she would hide, the wedge of hair would peek out, well, more than peek out, from behind whatever she was hiding behind. After the fifth or sixth time that we did this, I said in a loud voice, It's dead celebrities! Betsy came out from behind the column. She studied my jeans, stroking her chin. Hmm, she said. Dead celebrities. It's the new giraffe print. And off she strolled. It came time to meet my friend, so off I went. When we met up, I told her of my little episode. Dead celebrities, it's the new giraffe print, I said. You heard it here first. A few months later, this friend sent me a link. It was of photos of the opening of the New York City Ballet. The photo that she pointed out was of Betsy Johnson and her daughter. They were both wearing dresses printed in black and white. The caption, Dead Celebrity Prince, It's the New Giraffe Print. You heard it here first. And with that, dear listeners, I wish you a happy holiday season and a wonderful and prosperous and healthy New Year. Thanks for listening. You can get the audiobook All Grown Up Now on iTunes, Audible, and Amazon, or from my website, allgrownupnow.com. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. If you have any questions, you can reach me through the website, allgrownupnow.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Kenneth D. King, on Facebook, at Kenneth D. King Design, or on my main website, kennethdking.com.